Hey everybody, it's Pastor David from Walden Community Church. Welcome once again to another December devotional where we will take a look at one of these ornaments every single day from now until Christmas Day. This is our chrismon tree. Now, a chrismon tree typically looks like this. Uh, sometimes the ornaments are white and silver. Sometimes they're white and gold. Sometimes they're a combination of both but they're typically uh, either done as soft uh, fabric like this with sewn sequins. Sometimes they're even made out of styrofoam. Uh, these ornaments were handmade by ladies in our church, and they're, of course, very special to us. Now, if you've never heard the word chrismon before, it's just a combination of two other words, the word Christ and the word monogram. So these monograms are really symbols that stand for attributes and names that teach us theology about Jesus so that we can remember those things at Christmas time. And today we're gonna to look at the crosslet ornament. Now, what is a crosslet? Well, a crosslet cross is a heraldic cross made up of four Latin crosses arranged at right angles to each other. Now, the most common interpretation of this is that this represents the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And it's very similar to the Jerusalem cross. That We'll take a look at that one too. But this is considered as a symbol for world evangelism, which also gives it another name, the Mission Cross. It's also called the Crossed Cross, and it can be found on other different missionary crosses such as the St. Julian's Cross. But you know, four crosses, and four Gospels, I think for me at Christmas time reminds me that typically in sermons or at church, you're going to hear the Christmas story told from Matthew and Luke. Well, but that means all through the month of December, we ignore the Gospels of Mark and John. But we do have four accounts of Jesus's life. We do have four beautiful Gospels of the stories of Jesus's life. In fact, the very first line in John's Gospel is probably my favorite Christmas story. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Merry Christmas.